Hello, good evening, dear friends in our Lord Jesus Christ. I welcome you all to this third day of Novena to Saint Pelagius the Martyr. So this day we are dedicating this prayer service in special way to all the trans men. So we will be seeing that. So let us focus ourselves before the Lord God Almighty as we begin the prayers. <coughs> Now let us begin with prayers. O oh God, come to our aid. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Hallelujah. The martyrs living now with Christ In suffering were tried Their anguish overcome by love When on His cross they died Across the centuries they come In constancy and mourn Their loving hearts make no complaint In silence they are proved No man has ever measured love Obeyed in his hand, but God, who knows the inmost heart, gives them the promised land. Praise Father, Son, and Spirit, bless who guide us through the night in ways that reach beyond the stars to everlasting light. Dear friends. Now we are going to focus more and more on our Lord Jesus Christ through Saint Pelagius the Martyr. You can see the horrible way in which he died. He was subjected to death because he refused to convert to another religion and he refused the homosexual advances the coercive homosexual advances of the king. We thank God for the gift of martyr Pelagius of Cordoba. We call also him as Saint Pelagius the martyr. We thank you God for this gift. Help us the grace to continually love God and serve him. Today we are dedicating it for trans men, that is women who were born biologically female but they have felt that their assigned gender at birth is not in accordance to their perceived gender and they transform themselves and they adopt the man gender or the masculine gender. We now go to the prayer session as we say, as we read the gospel. My dear people, if you can have some share in the sufferings of Christ, be glad, because you will enjoy a much greater gladness when His glory is revealed. It is a blessing for you when they insult you for bearing the name of Christ, because it means that you have the spirit of glory the Spirit of God resting on you.
our response you have tested us god and you have brought us out into freedom again please repeat you have tested us god and you have brought us out into freedom again you have refined us like silver our response you have tested us god and you have brought us out into freedom again glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit you have tested us god and you have brought us out into freedom again dear friends so today we are uh, offering this novena for all the trans men as i have already said so who are trans men trans men are essentially women at their birth they are women but they have converted themselves into male or they have assumed the identity of male because they perceive that it is their gender so how this may happen what is the reason behind this so exactly we do not know for exactly how this uh, this came to happen so in once upon a time it was denoted by the term gender dysphoria gender dysphoria is in where you are not feeling comfortable with a gender which is assigned to you at birth so assumption of male identity whether we can see those kind of instances in the history of the church there have been some instances in the lives of the saints for example saint marina the monk who had adopted a male identity a male name male clothing especially for the sake of living inside the monastery of men we exactly do not know maybe during her lifetime she lived uh, around some 400 like you know 300 400 or between 500 ad during that time maybe it was because of the scarcity of uh, women congregations or convents possible so there are some of these kind of instances in which under some exceptional cases women saints we some of the women in the church we are also seeing that they have adopted a male identity and they have lived but what exactly was the reason in which they could have adopted this it is could be one one thing is for for a certain kind of self defense it could be like that for example in the life of venerable biata katalina de cordona she had she was wearing a, with her habit with a cowl so which was a sign of a man's habit that is a man religious she lived in uh, like you know around some 15 1500 1560 15 that time so it's not very old so it was it could be because to protect herself being a woman living alone as a hermit so we exactly do not know like you know she was so she must have adopted that cowl so to protect herself because she is a woman or living all alone in the desert so that could be one of the reason but in the case of saint marina the monk so she was living in a community of men living among the community maybe she was called to monastic life there could not there may not have been any monastic institutions so there are some cases in which some women i i adopt a male identity male identity has been adopted by some some women saints in the history of the church but uh, whether they had identified themselves as male or not we are not sure about that whether they had done that to change their gender uh, that uh, that we may not know we we exactly do not know whether that kind of there are no indications also there are no uh, like you know indications in the negative sense or the positive sense also we do not uh, have much evidences for that but historically also we have seen some of the women who feel that like you know who strongly perceive very strong perception that uh, 
they are uh, though they are born as women they are uh, they they belong to the male gender the reasons we do not know psychological or spiritual exact reasons we are still not able to discern whether it is genetic whether it is not genetic but what could be the what what is the church teaching the teaching of the church says that there are only two genders one is male and female there are only two genders so the church is opposing any of the efforts to change or modify one's gender which is assigned at their birth so this is uh, this is what to say is that whatever god built has always remained the same if god has made a person as a male that person will always remains a male because god's uh, uh, will cannot be changed god's actions cannot be changed so that is one line of thought another line of thought could be that if that is the case under special circumstances also uh these uh, <coughs> women uh living as adopting a male identity has been tolerated in the church so that is also like uh, maybe knowingly or unknowingly it has been tolerated in in few cases we can see second point third point is also that when god speaks about uh, these all these eunuchs eunuchs means uh in the sense that in Matthew 19:12 we have got a sense in which Jesus says about the eunuchs as the person who cannot naturally engage in a mar- marriage relationship a woman uh who is feeling that she is a man like a trans man what we call as trans man so she may not be able to engage in a natural marital union with another man because marriage is union between a male and a female according to the church law so they could be broadly considered under the category of the eunuchs so what what could be dealt over here is that these are uh, when god speaks god speaks in three terms one is sons daughters and eunuchs three categories so they could be considered under this in biblical category we can consider that they could be belong to the eunuch category eunuch category from women women like you know biologically women but they have, they belong to a eunuch category we can say that so the doctrine is still like you know still there has been like you know still there has been lot of discussions going on but what i could say is that whether we are able to accept it or reject it or whatever that might be we need to always respect them understand them that is compassion sensitivity and respect the three should be shown very much to them because as i have also seen in many of the cases people who experience this dysphoria what we call as dysphoria or like you know you say like you know a trans man identity they undergo a lot of psychological crises also lot of pain like i mean confusion between like you know uh confusion created self confusion first of all like why i am why have why why what happened to me why it is happening to me why i am feeling this way so lot of questions unanswered nobody to share so at that time you can be a good sharer good f- good friend you can call them to come closer to jesus offer all your burdens on christ we can tell them or in other cases like you know they may be experiencing a lot of pain maybe because of rejection from society or fear at that time we can comfort them always through jesus through sacraments we can always help them in comforting through scripture in all these ways and third category is some people who have transitioned themselves into a male identity a socially accepted male identity they have got some operation procedures transitions in that way there are many things so that like you know they adopt to 
this uh, male identity and in uh, civil law also you find like you know some recognition has been done uh, in some cases in India also it is recognized under the transgender uh, umbrella so in these cases how we can say what we could say is that they have already underwent a heavy operation in their body so reverting back it would be again a burden on the body how much health uh, like you know they were, whether they will be able to take that transition retransition all those things whether they will be able to transition that what we can always teach them is that god still loves them and help them to follow uh, christ and especially also make them get involved in the works in the church they are doing many works of christ in the church whatever that might be uh, their conditions might be so in all these ways we can form a healthy dialogue and a loving dialogue with the members of trans men community may god bless all of them may the lord who understand exactly completely who is omnipresent who is omniscient who understands them exactly may give us more wisdom more understanding regarding them to understand their condition and help us to walk closer towards christ we make this prayer through christ our lord amen dear friends also i want to mention is that there have been also instances in which you you find saint pelagius was asked by the king uh, for a coercive sexual relationship here it trans men they live in hiding and fear when they mingle with other men so if they are find out there is always chance that they could also experience sexual violence there have been many cases reported also trans men experiencing sexual violence from other men may the almighty god protect all of them because every life is unique every life uh, is made in the image of god human life is made in the image of god so everyone has carrying that sanctity of god may the good lord be with them and bless them guide them to walk in the ways of god amen we now finally say the prayer to saint pelagius the martyr uh, before that we sing our father in latin we sing pater noster qui es in celis sanctificetur nomen tuum adveniat regnum tuum fiat voluntas tua sicut in celo et in terra panem nostram quotidianam da nobis hodie et dimite nobis debita nostra sicut et nos dimitibus debitoribus nostris et ne nos inducas in tentationem sed libera nos malo we now say the prayer almighty and everlasting god you gave saint pelagius the martyr grace to fight to the death for the true faith let his prayer enable us to endure every trial for love of you and to make all haste on our way to you in whom alone is life we make our prayer through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of god the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen we now sing the hymn to mother mary salve regina may mother mary protect all these women who are born as women but who experience this gender dysphoria in which they want to identify as a man may mother mary who was born as a woman who understand the sufferings of women may help them may be with them in their trials in their tribulations 
and may mother mary protect all those people who have transitioned also but who are living in fear who are rejected from their families rejected from the society who are pushed into the boundaries of society where they may get addicted to unwanted substances or they may may be in streets homeless and they are subjected to physical and other psychological violence and trans men women uh, this women who identify as trans men who through their teenage or their life they have been experiencing severe discomfort severe pain severe anxiety in their life all of them we offer to you mother mary we don't understand completely why these things are how these things are but mother mary you have got a great recourse to your son in the heavenly assembly with that same confidence and trust we sing this hymn to you salve regina mater misericordiae vita dulce do et spes nostra salve adeclamamus ex solas filiae ve ade suspiramus jamantas et flandas yena clacrimarum vale e ayago advocata nostra ye los tuos misericordes oculos ad nos converte ye te som benedictum fructum vendris tui nobis poso exilium o sante o clamans o pia o dulces virgo maria may the almighty god bless you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen have a blessed night to everyone tomorrow we will be coming with a new theme the fourth day of the novena may god bless you all amen